Hey, Mortgage Coach Community, Dave Savage here, and I'm in Portland, Oregon, working out of WeWork, and I've got Kristen Messerly today. Hi, guys. So we want to do a special interview on a couple different things. So the theme for Mortgage Coach in November of 2017 is to help Mortgage Coach members get more realtors from current partnerships and convert more of those into loans. So I've, I've interviewed a top realtor recently, Millennial. Kristen's going to break it down. Uh, I interviewed John Down, uh, a mortgage coach professional that's only been using Mortgage Coach for 45 days. We're going to break that down. And, and I think there's going to be a few other things that we want to do, but I interviewed Ryan. You checked it out. Yeah, you it was a great interview. To that. Why don't you help the mortgage coach community assume that we have loan officers on this that are, you know, 50, 40, all ages. But I think if a realtor, whether they're millennial or not, if they're new to the business and they're killing it, mm -hmm. like in Ryan's case, he was doing over 20 million in production. They want his business. Yeah. And, and let's face it, everybody who's watching this, you have realtors in your marketplace that are first year, second year, within their first four years that are millennials that are killing it. Kristen's going to tell you how to get their business and how to impress them. Yeah, well, after watching a couple of interviews from the, some of the top loan officers, as well as the uh, realtor, millennial kind of interview, there's a few common themes that are definitely in line with all of the things, the best practices I talk about in reaching millennials. Uh, one is, of course, digital marketing having a solid social media presence. Um, you have to be active on Facebook. Everyone everyone has experienced a lot of success on Facebook. That top millennial realtor was uh, talking about how that's his best source of referrals outside, or best source of business outside of referrals. Um, and then also even being consistent on other platforms, including Google Plus and, um, and other, other LinkedIn, just actively having a presence so that you show up when someone Googles your name or when they start to search for a realtor in your area. So digital marketing is key. Um, secondly, transparency and access to information is a very high priority for all millennials, whether you're a consumer or a realtor. Uh, we want to have, be able to see what's going on in the process and make confident, informed decisions. Um, one of the things that the realtor had mentioned is that uh, he really liked the way that Mortgage Coach allowed his consumers to feel confident and comfortable with, the, with their purchase. So that was a big, big one. So one, I'm going to put an interview or the link to the interview with Ryan down below. So this is a millennial realtor. Closed $20 million, his second year in the business, or almost $20 million. He was referred by Jeremy Forcier. Uh, I've interviewed Jeremy countless times, but I'm going to put a link to the interview I did with Jeremy that was about what are the five questions that he asked realtors. And actually, Ryan called out why he worked with Jeremy. He's like, I liked the questions he was asking. And then Jeremy also has a really simple script on how he introduces mortgage coaching to the conversation. And the guy that, by the way, the hint is... The realtors always talk about, hey, what's most important to your, with the lender you work with? Communication, communication, communication. And then Jeremy goes, really? Communication's important? Let me show you how I communicate with your a pre approval with your home buyers. In fact, let me text it to you. By the way, millennial realtor digs it, loan officer texts something right there in the meeting, and, and boom, it drives an app download, it drives graphs and charts. It helps the realtor sell better. So again, super important. Any, yeah. any other things come to mind? Yeah, they both use video. So they both will text yeah, video. Right. And, and one of the things in Jeremy's script is that he tells them that he's going to be in touch with them on every every couple of weeks with a new analysis and, um, and giving them you know any updates. And they love that. They feel excited for those phone calls to come in. Um, and, and yeah, so they're both staying in touch with their consumer. They both also mentioned that fast communication is very key. In today's market, if they don't reach you right away on the first contact, they're going to keep calling other people until they find someone that's going to give them the, the information. Uh, you know, we just want that instant access and have a higher expectation for quick service. So that's a, a big one: is just being in touch in a, on a quick, you know, in quick communication. Yeah, and so when you listen to it, notice that Jeremy used multi-channel. He uses Facebook Messenger, uses email, uses text. And he called out the fact that Jeremy texted him a video. And in this particular case, I don't know whether it was a sample to total cost analysis, which a lot of loan officers will do that and follow up. Hey, here's that rent versus own with a video on it. Or whether, you know, he just pulled up his phone, recorded a quick video and texted it to him. 
Millennials love that. Yeah. Any other thoughts? I don't think so. I think that the most important thing is to stay in front of your consumer, respond quickly, provide transparent information about the process on an ongoing basis. And um, whether that's through text communication, but also social media, staying in front of your audience are all key components to really winning with millennial consumers and realtors. Well, by the way, I, I just thought of something Neil Ribbons when I say it. He talked about authenticity, and he talked about, and I can't remember what, he, what word he used, but he like he implied that some loan officers were like weird, or or I don't know. He used some remember. some word, but he implied, and he's just like he didn't say it, but he's like Jeremy was authentic and cool, and a lot of other loan officers I talked to, it's all about me, it's me, 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 and it, whatever the description was. So I close with the thought. Authenticity is everything. Authenticity is more important than professionalism. You know, so, you know, Jeremy wears his, you know, favorite baseball hat. Uh, you know, Giants, or those at the A's. I'm kidding, Jeremy. It's the Giants. Because uh, he's authentic. And that resonated. So Yeah, I mean, across thoughts? the board, any loan officer or realtor that's really successful with millennials are just being themselves. And they're communicating with that transparency in an authentic format. So uh, I think that's a great place to be in the market. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed those tips. So in closing, if you got value from this, like it. You're watching it in our YouTube channel, Mortgage Coach YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link to the interview with the realtor interview below. I'm going to put a link to the interview with Jeremy where he talks about the five questions he uses with every realtor conversation. And I'm also going to put a link to the interview I recently did with John Downs. He'd only been using Mortgage Coach for 45 days. And it was all about how he's getting more re referrals from realtors. And then how is he converting those into buyers more effectively and in a way that saves time. So hope you got value from this. And Kristen, thank you very much. Great. Thank you for having me.